What is going on guys, Noah Burry here, back again with another video. And today I'm gonna be giving you a entire training on how you can actually go from nothing to finding a winning product on TikTok ads and Shopify. And I'm gonna be calling this the TikTok Masterclass. Now this is gonna be a general training and I'm gonna be attaching a document in the description where you can access this same form that I'll be showing on screen. And you can also access other videos that I will be referencing in this video because it would be impossible for me to go super in depth on every single subject without this being like a two hour long video. So I actually have references to other videos that I've made and they're all organized really neatly here so that you can just follow along and follow the process. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So let's cover a little outline just so that you know what to expect. Hopefully I will put chapters like right around this area of the video. If you look down, you should be able to skip to different parts if you wanna be selective with what you're learning. If not, kick back, enjoy the ride. First thing that we're gonna talk about is product research. It's essentially the first step before you can do anything else. The next step is gonna be store building and then product preparation, which is gonna be your product description, product page, stuff like that, getting your ads made, whatnot. Um, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about product testing and then we're gonna talk about analyzing your results and then transitioning into the scale. So this video is really gonna be from product research all the way up until the point where you find a winner. We're not gonna to get too in depth on scaling, but I am gonna tell you a little bit about how you can do your initial scale in some ways that I've done it that have worked very well up to this point. So before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I wanna make an announcement. And that announcement is that we actually launched our done for you TikTok product testing agency about a month ago. And so far we've been able to find over 25 winning products just in a few months time using these exact methods on TikTok. And now what we're doing is we're taking the methods that we've proven out over and over again and bringing them into an agency business model where we can take over your store and your ad account and implement those methods for you, which basically allows us to get a whole lot better and implement our proven methods on your store so that we can find you a winning product and scale once a winner is found. Another cool thing to mention is most of the clients that we have that are actually testing products that haven't found a winner yet are seeing like a 0.7 to 1.2 ROAS during testing, which means even while they're testing products, even though they may not have a winning product yet, they're still seeing a return on investment and in getting sales coming in, which is just a little bit exciting. And it kind of shows that there's momentum and a lot of potential here for growth. So like I said earlier, the way that the service works is we provide you with products. We can also build your store. We can also prepare the products for you. So building the product page and making the description. We also run the product tests inside of your TikTok ad account. And then once we find a winning product, we completely scale it for you. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, I am reopening the service and we are now accepting clients again. I wanted to bring in kind of like a test group to see if we could really find a good amount of winning products at scale. And clearly we can, and we're ready to go bigger at it. One thing I do want to say is we will be capping this service off at 60 clients in total. So if you do want to be one of those 60 clients, take action. Don't wait around because I'm not taking on 61. I'm capping it at 60. And the reason is because we know that we can manage 60 clients and we know that with the team that we have set out, we can put a lot of focus into those 60 clients. And eventually our goal is to have relationships with clients where they're not only running one store with us, but we can actually keep on reinvesting our profits and build these bigger, you know, dropshipping style businesses where we're not only running one store, but multiple stores for a single client. And that's mainly the reason I'm capping it at 60 because I think that's all we need to hit our goals. One more thing I will note is there will be a discount today and tomorrow only before the price goes back to normal. So if you did want to get in during today or tomorrow, there is an incentive to do so. And then after the promo, I will be removing the discount, but honestly, we'll probably be closing it down and not accepting any more clients for like at least a week or two, just because we usually get a bunch of clients and we like to focus on them and make sure that our systems are set up properly. But if you're interested in joining, DM me on Instagram. My username is on the screen, or you can go to the Google document down below. I would highly recommend that you do that anyways, because it goes along with this training. And there is a schedule call link there where you can go through and schedule a call with one of my team members and see if it's a good fit. So without any further delays, let's get right into the meat and potatoes and talk about product research. Now there's essentially two different methods that you can use when you're looking for products to run on TikTok. The main one that we're using is the copycat method, which is essentially finding products out there that are already proven to work for other people or they're proven to work on other platforms and then moving them over to TikTok ads, giving them a test. And honestly, this is the way that we've seen the most success so far. And the way that you do this is essentially by scrolling through TikTok and looking for you know, products that have went viral already. This is like a good way to find products. 
And then another way, if you're looking on other platforms or other stores, then is to use these e-commerce softwares such as Ecom Hunt, Viral Vault, um, Ad Spy. There's a few other ones that I don't know the name of that you can use that will basically show you products that are already working for other people. And then you can just bring those over to TikTok. I also have a video on screen here where if you want to learn more about how I do this more in depth, you can go and watch this video where I actually walk you through how to scroll on TikTok, how I build my product sheet, how you can actually utilize your product sheet to find more winning products. I, it's just an overall really interesting video and I would highly recommend watching it. The next method is the pioneer method. This is essentially a method that I primarily use for Facebook ads, but you can also do it for TikTok ads as well. It works very, very well, but obviously it's a little bit more difficult since the products that you're selling don't really have a path beaten out for them yet. So, you know, you got to find the supplier, you got to create the content, but it is a really good method and it is an option that you can pursue. So I thought it was worth listing in this list. And the best way that I do this is essentially just scrolling through AliExpress, putting yourself in situations where you just see a lot of products and you'll come across these products that nobody is really sold yet or maybe it's not a popular product or maybe it's something new that you can go and test out. One thing I will say is I really only recommend this method, especially for TikTok ads, if you have found previous winning products in the past before, just so that you have that experience and you already kind of know what to look for when you're scrolling through AliExpress. I also have a video training that goes really in depth on this topic as well shows you how to find the products, what the criteria are, stuff like that. This video is more geared towards Facebook ads. I don't have a video for Pioneer Method for TikTok ads yet, but maybe that's something I'll work on for the future. And for building your store, we've primarily tested and seen the most success with one product stores so far. Um, to keep costs down, you can use a general domain and a general logo. But so far, honestly, the success rate has been the highest when it's a one product store with its own domain name and its own logo. I'll show you an example of a website in a second, but you kind of have a, a one product domain and a one product logo is kind of what I coined them. But obviously, if you're somebody with a smaller budget, general domains also work. So I did want to put that in this video. Now, one of the biggest objections with one product stores is the amount of time that it takes to build them. So I actually made a system kind of like an SOP on how you can very, very quickly build a one product store in like 20 to 30 minutes. And I have a video right here that goes through how to do it, how to actually do it inside of Shopify, what the steps are, everything that you need to know about building a one product store very quickly. So I thought that this was an important thing to mention because I know a lot of people are like, oh, I got to build a new store for every product I test. It's really not that complicated. And me personally, it takes like 20 to 30 minutes just to build a new store. So I'll show you a quick example on the screen right now. This is the store that I used for my 48 hour TikTok ads challenge where I did $1,500 in 48 hours. So this is already obviously a proven store build design. And you can see that it's just a basic debut theme. We have a single home page here and then we have the product page literally nothing fancy, nothing crazy going on. So you can also visit that domain name if you want to see for yourself as well. But we keep things really, really simple and we primarily do one product stores. So let's talk about product preparation. So this is going to be, you know, building your product page, getting your ad copy and getting your creatives. So we'll kind of bang through these because I've already made videos about these in the past, which you can go check out on my channel. And of course, if you like videos like this, leave a subscribe so that when I upload more videos, you get notified. But I just showed you an example of this finished product page. And there's a few things that are definitely worth noting, which I have in the notes over here. So number one thing that I would say is like a basic Shopify template, you know, theme, whatever works the best. I found that with complicated themes, it doesn't perform as good. And also sometimes TikTok will actually ban you for having an unfinished product page. Like if it sometimes it just doesn't register if you have some weird stuff going on with your website. So be very careful. And if your ads are getting flagged, it could be the theme that you're using, depending on what theme, like if you're just using debut or Brooklyn, you're not going to have any issues. So usually I just recommend people go with like a free theme that's basic and simple. In terms of custom page builders, because I have recommended these in the past for Facebook, as a matter of fact, with Facebook ads, we primarily test using page builders like PageFly and GemPages. So these actually work really, really well in terms of a conversion rate. But for TikTok ads specifically, every time I've ever tried to test them, our ads always get flagged for like the incomplete landing page, which I don't really know why. But for that reason, we have just been sticking to the basic Shopify template product pages. And honestly, they perform really, really well. So I will be trying to get into page builders sometime in the future. But for now, I'm just sticking to the Shopify template. Templates. In terms of apps, there's only really two apps that I recommend having, and that is a review app and a currency converter app. Now, we also use these with Facebook ads as well, and they work really, really good. But with TikTok,
TikTok, it's actually required that you have a currency converter app on your store. So if you're targeting multiple countries, you have to show every single country's local currency on your website, which this makes perfect sense because it helps with conversion rate a lot. And obviously it keeps the customer from being confused. And I recommend having a reviews app and try to have like 30 or more reviews on every single product that you test. And obviously the higher quality the reviews, the better. Another thing I'll talk about very shortly is the product description. I actually made a proven product description template that you can just follow like literally step by step. That way you don't have to put that much thought and focus into the actual product description itself. So if you click the Google Doc in the description, you'll actually be able to click it here and view the template for yourself. The next subject I wanna talk about briefly is ad copy. So this is gonna be the text that goes in your actual advertisement. One thing I wanna note is to keep it super simple. So far, every time I've tried to do any sort of complex or smart ad copy style, like it just gets disabled for one reason or another. So literally the template that we've been using is pretty much just putting the name of the product and then saying like available now or out now or order now or purchase now, something along those lines. So super simple. We don't really sell the product at all in the actual copy. So that's what's been most profitable for us. I know that some people have seen success using discount codes and other offers in the ad copy, but for us, that's what's been working the best. So I just wanted to put that in here. I do recommend trying out different styles of copy though. And I would encourage you to test out some different things and see if you can get it to work because obviously this style of ad copy is very basic. It's very plain. And yes, it does work very well. You can definitely do it better. And if you can get away with it, I would highly recommend it. All right, let's talk for a minute about how you can get your creatives and what are some of the best ways to do it. Essentially, there's three ways to do it. You can use existing TikToks, which is a very temporary solution. And while this is easy for product testing, because you can just take a TikTok and, and test out a product and see if it works real quick. Ideally, once you find a winning product, you wanna move away from this as quickly as possible and get into one of the other options. Your next option is ordering the product yourself and making a TikTok yourself or getting a friend to do it. This is a great option and I've also seen a lot of success so far by doing this. The next option is ordering UGC, which is you know user generated content. It's basically a TikTok style ad from Viral Ecom Ads, which is my company. It's an agency that I built to provide content for e-commerce businesses, drop shipping or brands. And they are very affordable. They have a quick turnaround time and you can also give them an exact script to follow. You can tell them exactly what you want done and they'll get it done for you under 10 days. So a few different options that you have here, each of them have their pros and cons, but just wanted to make you aware of it. All right, next let's talk about product testing. So when you go to actually make your campaign, we're gonna talk a little bit about campaign structure and how we set it up right now. But I will say that if you wanna get the most value out of this section of this video, you're gonna have to watch the video that I have linked in the Google Doc because in that video, I literally create a campaign film my screen and share it with you. So when you're creating your campaign, you can actually create it right along with me. You can just have my video open in one tab and your TikTok ads open in the other and just follow along with me as I create a campaign for myself. But in this video, I wanted to give you an outline of kind of how we do it. So the best campaign structure that we've seen so far is essentially just five ad groups, each ad group having its own interest. And under each ad group, you can have one or three different ads. So obviously if you can only find one creative, obviously you're just gonna have one and that works very, very well. But if you can find multiple, it is a plus to put multiple under each ad. As for the ad group structure, it's super simple, essentially optimized for complete payment, target United States and Canada with a $20 daily budget, you know, per ad group. And then we usually do lowest cost bid option, which manual bidding works very well, but we have had a lot of issues with, you know, the ads not spending and different things like this. So this is essentially the way that we create our campaigns. If you have no idea what I just said, I would highly recommend watching watching the training, it will be linked in the Google Doc in the description below because that will walk you through exactly how we create campaigns, like literally step by step. It doesn't get any more step by step than that. So lastly, let's talk about analyzing your tests, you know, when to turn it off, when to move on, when to scale, and also a little bit about transitioning into scaling and how you can actually bring your, your winning product to you know a thousand a day or 2000 a day or whatever. So there's three basic rules that you can follow. If you spend a hundred dollars on the product and it's not profitable or it's losing money, it's probably safe to say that you should just turn that product off and move on. Now, if it spends a hundred dollars and it's breaking even, so this means it's making enough sales to where you're not losing money, but it's not making enough sales to where you're not really making money either. I would say it's a hundred percent worth getting a new 
creative and testing a new creative or um, you know ordering the product and making your own creatives trying some different angles like whatever you want it's definitely worth moving more into that product but if you're like me and you just want like a quick winner you can also just move on to the next product and in the ideal situation within a hundred dollars spent you're actually profitable and making money already so if that is the case then of course you're going to want to transition into scaling so one thing i will say is i am still heavily testing you know different ways to transition into scales and also different ways to scale i am definitely not as oiled up in TikTok ads as I am with Facebook ads, of course, and I am still learning, so I am also a student. So I want you to take what I say here as merely suggestions and me sharing my journey as to what's working for me so far from what I've tested so far. But I will say that very soon, there will be an insane video where I'm going to run a couple hundred different tests on TikTok to figure out what the best strategies are. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to see that video, obviously leave a subscribe so that you can see it when it comes out. But so far, my most successful method in terms of transitioning into a scale and actually scaling further is a mix of two different things. Number one is taking an ad group that has 10 or more sales profitably and duplicating it into a new campaign at $100 per day. You can see that I did this in the challenge video, in the 48 hour challenge video that I made, and it performed very, very well. Obviously we did like $1,500 in 48 hours. So the method works great. And then the way that you would scale horizontally and vertically from there is essentially just duplicating it and doubling the budget. And then the way that you would scale horizontally, you know, getting more ad groups that you can actually take to hundred a day in the first place is essentially just by testing new creatives, new targeting. Um, you can try different variations of interest. You can try no interest. You can try behaviors. So there's a lot of different things that you can do and you essentially just do those in new campaigns. So that's the breakdown on how you can go from having nothing to starting to test products and finding your first winner with TikTok ads. I hope that this video was valuable. I put a lot of information here and that's why I wanted to provide you with the Google Doc in the description. Make sure that you go click that so that you can go view all the resources that are attached with this Google Doc. And of course, if you're interested in joining my agency and having us automate a lot of these systems for you, then there will be a link in the description to schedule a call. You can also DM me on Instagram. My username is Noah D. Brewer. We can have a conversation and decide if it's a good fit or not. Of course, if this video is valuable, leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment if you have any feedback or anything that could be done better. Or if you've been also testing on TikTok ads and you have things that you think would be valuable just to share with the e-com community in general, I love learning new things and I know that the other viewers also go down and read the comments, like who doesn't read comments on YouTube? So I highly appreciate it when people give their feedback and their input and sometimes people even give advice, which is really, really dope because I learn, the other viewers learn from it and it's a good experience. But that's it for this video. This is Noah Burr and I'm out. Peace. 